Well, hello, our little Elsebraniacs. Welcome to the Johnson Kendra Video Hour. But it's not an hour. Ours is the not reason why. Ours is to eat some apple pie. I don't know what that means. I don't either. I just <laughs> made it up. Okay, we're going to talk about investment information. It's not in the book, though. That's okay. It's important. Well, and some of it's in the book, but there's not a lot of detail. So and we're going to make the detail yeah. for you. So what is compound interest? Compound. Is that where you pound on the desk and say, I want interest? Maybe. Pay attention to me. Be interested. No. <laughs> That's not it. Bummer. <laughs> All right. When the bank pays interest on the principal amount. What does the principal amount mean? Principal means the amount you have in the bank, like your starting amount. Okay. So kind of like our A and Y equals AB to the X. Right. It's okay. It's starting amount. And interest on the money that you've earned. So like every time you earn a little bit more. like It, it adds to the total. Correct. And then you earn more interest not only on your initial investment, but also on the interest you've already earned. Ooh. So you're, it's an interesting interest. So, so there's simple interest where you just earn it on the principal. principal, and then there's compound interest, which is what we're talking about. You earn it on everything that's in there, including the interest you you earn. Yeah. So it's a better way to do it. Um, so there are different ways that this can be calculated. Monthly is how many times a year? Twelve. Quarterly, what do you think? Quarter, so four times a year. Yep, this would be 12 times a year. This is four times a year. Annually is once. Once, and we don't see this very often. Semi means like cut in half, so twice a year. Yeah. When I worked at my old job, I was paid semi-monthly. Oh. So I got paid on the 15th and the 30th. Instead no of every what. two weeks. Correct. Which actually works out to be less paychecks. So, so bigger so paychecks. Semi-monthly is... 24 times, but by weekly, bi -weekly every two weeks, six times. Six. This is getting confusing. They are. Well, let's get on with our example. All right, you deposit 1500 at the bank. Woohoo! With an annual interest rate of 6.5%, compounded quarterly. How much do you have after 18 years? So this is exponential growth. So that means we can use our equation that we've been talking about for the past few days y equals ab to the x power. A is always going to be your initial amount, so that's 1500 bucks. But this is where things get tricky. So remember we talked about any time you have growth, you have to add 1, because that really represents 100%. But what's happening here is we have an annual interest rate of 6.5%. Now that means that's the interest that we would earn over the whole year, but it's calculated four separate times. Uh -huh. So you have to take the percentage, and first thing you need to do is turn it to a decimal, so 0 0.065, and you divide it by the number of times it's been calculated. Uh -huh. So if that were monthly, you'd divide it by 12 or whatever. Okay. Annually, you wouldn't have to divide it at all. So we just got to pay attention. When it's compounded, you got to divide. And I do see some kids do this sometimes. Add it and then divide by four. Is that uh, the same uh, uh, thing? Uh, no, because the one isn't part of the interest right now. You do it just by the interest number. Okay, so 0 0.065. You guys actually, if you have calculators at home, might be helpful to go through some of these calculations with us just to be sure we're on the same page. We're going to get 1.01625. And let's try not to round. And in fact, in class, we'll show you how to go through this. Um, without having to write anything down, you can just type it all in so you're accurate. Nice. Okay? And then here's something else that's tricky about compound interest x, which is our exponent, remember? That's the number of times the interest is calculated. So we're going to do 18 years. But it's four times each of those years. So how many times is that? 18 times 4. Yep. 72. All right. Okay, so just let's do some reminders. You got to divide your percentage, and you got to multiply your years. Uh huh. So my setup for my equation is now y equals a, which is the initial investment, times b, which we just figured out is this, to the x power, which is 72. Okay, let's see how our money grows. So 
can I just do the 1 times the 1500 first? No, 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 no. Exponents first. Okay, so I have to do the 1.0 blah 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 to the 72nd. Right. And you're going to get a crazy decimal, so leave it in the calculator. And then just hit multiply by 1500. And when you do that, we get 4,787. And obviously you're going to round to the hundredth place because we're talking about money. So you're telling me if I put $1,500 in the bank and let it just sit there for 18 years, if I have that good interest rate, yes. I'll end up with $4,787. That's amazing. That's pretty good for doing nothing. Right. Just think if I put 15000 in there. Do you have $15,000? Just mm, No, but maybe I could sell my kidney. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good plan. <laughs> need a kidney? <laughs> I'm not buying. Okay. All right, what if we were compounded monthly? So what's going to change? The A starting amount doesn't change, but the B does change. Remember, we got to take the 1 and add our percentage. Whoops, forgot another zero. This time, though, we're not doing it 4 times a year. We're doing it 12 times, 12 a, year. times a year. And then also your exponent. You're doing 18 years, and it's 12 times a year. So the rest of that problem would be the same process. I'm not going to go through the calculations. It's just type it in the calculator. Yep, plug um, it in. But I just want to show you how those steps change. Nice. Okay, now we got to switch gears. A number E. I thought this was math class. This sounds like English. Well, number E is special. Is it? Yes, we need it for... Uh, interest that's not compounded quarterly or annually or whatever. It's called compounding continuously. Whoa. Like all the time? Like every second of every day that's they keep compounding it? Yeah. So what that means is there's this little guy in the bank and he's just always working furiously calculating your interest. Wow. That's kind of like when you do your calculator and you just keep hitting that plus one, plus <laughs> one, plus one, plus one, it keeps adding more. Okay, that doesn't really happen. They just use this formula. Oh, well, formulas are good. Yes. We love it's, formulas. It's continuous because it's happening all the time. That's, that's an interesting idea. So we get a new formula, PERT. A equals PERT. A PERT. A PERT. It's like PERT plus? PERT plus. It continuously keeps your hair lovely. So remember that for continuous compound interest. It, it does get challenging because we... Whoops. I can't write with an eraser. We were using this, which has the letter A in it, and, and this has a letter A too, but it's capital, so just know that they're different. Okay. And we only use this formula when it's compounded continuously. And A, that A means the amount you have at the end. Yeah, yeah. and P is the start. Yeah, which is similar to our A in the other equation. Okay, well. Okay, now here's something else that changes with this formula, is the rate is as a decimal. And I'm going to write on here that you don't add 1. That takes care of itself with the E. Yeah, okay, the number E is taking the place of our 1. And the uh, T is always in years. There's no... So if you only have 9 months, it would be 3 quarters right. of a year. Right. Okay, so what is this E thing anyway? It's E extra special. Yes. Well, E is an irrational number approximately equal to 2.7 da 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 forever. Now, it's one of those numbers like pi that goes on forever and ever. Okay, it's irrational because you can't write it as a fraction. It just continues with no pattern and never ending. Okay, and it's on your calculator just like pi. Yeah, there's we a button. We can show you in class. Right. Okay, you've invested 20000 at 4.5 annual interest rate, compounded continuously. Boom, when you see pert. this word. Pert, A pert. Whoops, not like that. Don't do that. <laughs> not like pert plus. P E R T. R -T. Little t, little r. Okay, so we have invested, that's our starting amount, so that's the P this time. So this time 20000 goes here, and then our E. And then R is your interest rate, so that's 0.045. Uh -huh. And then... I'm going to do like double parentheses. That's a good idea. After three years, so that goes in <coughs> as a three. When you, if you use the TI-30, which is everybody's favorite, I believe when you hit the E, 
it opens parentheses for you, so that's kind of uh -huh. nice. Yes. So you can type in 0.045 and then your multiplication 3. Nice. Get your answer and then go back and multiply by the 20,000. So let me do that real quick. No pressure. Do, 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 All right, do, do, and when we do that, 2, 2, 8, 9, oh, and 74 cents when I round. Nice. So after three years, I've made pretty good money, almost $3,000 for doing nothing. Sitting in the account. I wonder, maybe we should do a comparison in class. Oh, really? To see compound annually or quarterly compared to compounding continuously that's and to see what's better. That's a great idea. So. All right. Well, we're full of them. <laughs> okay. Ta-ta. Yeah.